Hello there, and welcome to our latest episode of the Heart of a Youth Leader podcast and YouTube video. I uh, hope you're doing well, I hope you're um, enjoying the run up to Christmas, it's coming, the adverts are telling us it's coming, if nothing else. Um, I hope you're getting excited uh, and allowing yourself to get excited for the, uh, the, the Advent season that is so nearly here. Uh, and this weekend just passed, Thrive uh, reached an important milestone which uh, got me excited and that's what we, we celebrate our 10th anniversary uh, as a charity. Uh, and it's crazy for me to think that, that I've been doing this for 10 years uh, and to reflect on the Lord's faithfulness over the 10 years and his provision that we, you know, even when it's got tight financially, God has been so good and provided for our every need. Uh, and, and as we uh, grow and get larger in our um, staff team, uh, the Lord still provides. Uh, and, it's, and it's a humbling reality, but it's also a, a, a faith-growing reality that the Lord always provides uh, for what he orders. Uh, and the challenge for us, isn't it, as Christians, is am I doing what he's ordering? Am I doing what he's asking me to do? You know, it's so important that we, uh, if we're doing his will, if we're doing what he's asking us to do, we have no fear of consequences or lack of provision because he, he, he signs the checks for the orders he makes. Uh, and so we, we need to have that kind of godly attitude uh, to, to what we do. Don't rely on uh, our, our, our finances, don't rely on our salaries or whatever, but rely on the Lord. Uh, and it's so good, I've been thinking, obviously been quite reflective because of 10 years, and 10 feels a significant milestone to me. Um, you know, we're getting ready for secondary school, we're almost out of primary school. <laughs> uh, and so hopefully Thrive is growing and maturing uh, and hopefully we're not going to have too much for a difficult teenage years when we get there but we've got a little while to go yet but reflecting on right from the start 10 years ago you know we I was running the a youth growing leaders course uh, and we've been doing that pretty much every year since except for during Covid hopefully that will be starting again soon wanting to invest in young people and their faith and to uh, impact them, to lead others to know Jesus for themselves. And mentoring youth workers right from the start, trying to help them to keep going, keep going in what you're doing, uh, and to, to support you in, in the challenges of being involved in youth work. Uh, and if you're watching this and you don't have a mentor and you're doing youth work, then get in touch, we'd love to support you. Or if you're outside our area, we'd love to put you in touch with someone uh, who's got a bit more experience perhaps with youth work, who can invest in you and support you because we all need people who are investing in us. This is not a lone ranger uh, occupation. Uh, and then I was thinking about, you know, the number of different churches that, that, that we've helped over the years, uh, bringing Fiona onto the team in 2016, five years ago, and the, uh, the, the impact we've been able to have to help churches with their children's ministry. And a stronger, healthier children's ministry means it's more likely to succeed in having a thriving youth ministry. That's, that's the vision for us. Uh, and she's been on the team for five years. And that's the same year we started our annual Youth Weekends Away, which again, I'm really missing doing. We can't wait to be able to regather together again, youth leaders and young people. Uh, and hopefully that's not too far off happening again uh, and then of course to celebrate our 10th anniversary we launched this crazy new vision our manifesto for 21st century youth ministry youth work helping churches to think fresh about how do we do youth work in the 21st century the reality is that the young people we work with weren't even born in the 20th century let alone experienced it so we've got to move our youth work out of the last century and into this new one. Uh, it's 2021, come on gang. Uh, and, and so we've got a vision, a manifesto, which, which we want to come alongside churches to ask the difficult questions. And they are hard, because if they weren't hard, we would have done them already. 
Uh, and the reason we don't change is because it's not straightforward. And so Thrive's coming alongside saying, come on, we're going we're gonna to help you to adapt to the needs of young people in the 21st century. Let's do things differently. Let's do things in a new way, a more relational way, a more uh, pointing to Jesus in all that we do. Not entertaining, not just having activity for the sake of safety or giving people a place to go, but to build relationships with the people of God and through that to build relationships with Jesus. So uh, you can find out more about that on our website if you, if you haven't heard about our manifesto. But that's not really the point. The thing for me today is to just this thing of, I've, as I've reflected on God's goodness over the last 10 years, just been drawn to praise him and worship him and to give thanks to him. Uh, and uh, it may seem obvious, but I got drawn to Psalm 136, which just goes on about his love enduring forever. It's this wonderful call and response psalm uh, where you can imagine the worship leader saying the first line and the congregation joining in celebration, saying his love endures forever. So it says, uh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of laws. Lords, his love endures forever. It's like praise God for he is God and his love endures forever. It's not about how, how I can do and what I need to do and making things happen because his love endures forever. His love for me endures forever. His love for you endures forever. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it wonderful that we can rest in that security of the promise that his love for us endures forever? And then the psalmist goes on to talk about how uh, to him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. And he goes on to say how all these things that God created and how he did it uh, and how it reflects his love enduring forever. His love going on forever because of his love for us, he made creation because of his love for for us, he made all the animals because of his love being overflowing from his love for the Son by the Spirit and vice versa. Uh, all these things happen because he's a God of love uh, and he loves us and we thank him for that. We thank him for his love. Uh, and then the psalm, psalmist takes us back to the Exodus, to him who divided the Red Sea asunder. His love endures forever and brought Israel through the midst of it. His love endures forever, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. His love endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, his love endures forever. And it goes on with remembering these particular examples from their history and going, his love endures forever. And as I think back to what God's been doing over these last 10 years, I just want to say his love endures forever. When I think of all the numbers of different young people who've done our uh, youth growing leaders, his love endures forever. Think of all the people that I've had the privilege of mentoring and training in youth work, his love endures forever. I think of the people who've been involved with Thrive, uh, whether it's leading uh, projects with me or volunteering with us or being on our staff team, especially Fee just think wow his love endures forever so good isn't it and that's enough about me we need to stop but I want to say this week take some time to give thanks to the Lord our God because his love endures forever and what I find by giving thanks and celebrating is it helps me keep my eyes on him and go wow God you did it again you did it again and the response to us is his love endures forever he loves us, no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard life is, he loves you. And that love will not fade away. That love will not give, uh, die out over years. It will not give up. His love endures forever. Go for it. Mm -hmm.